Some people wish for flowers on Valentine's Day. Others, like me, prefer something you can eat. Good morning, I'm your Eagle Neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston. And when I saw this meat and cheese bouquet on social media, I knew I had to check it out. So let's meet Robin Cabrini of Savory Girl Idaho for this week's Made in Idaho. Thank you. The rich aroma of cheese and meats floats through the air in a small commercial kitchen in this Eagle residential garage. Over here, I've got the mother of all bouquets. This is a charcuterie bouquet. Robin Cabrini is the founder of Savory Girl Idaho. I'm going to teach you how to make a salami rose. If you can't tell by now, making charcuterie is one of Cabrini's primary focuses. So typically what I do is I take four pieces of salami like this and then I just pop them right in the cup. One of her favorite parts of working with Fancy Finger Food is getting creative and coming up with themes. Her focus in February, Valentine's Day. Um, you know, some of us like real flowers and some of us like food and some of us like food and flowers. So this is the best of it. I joined Cabrini in the kitchen to make one of these seasonal boards. Do you want to try it? I'd love to. All right. Cool. Now Cabrini definitely makes it look easy. Throw a berry in there and oh. voila, you have a beautiful cheese flower. The curiosity that started Savory Girl Idaho sparked at a party where Cabrini was amazed at the host's meat and cheese spread. Filled my plate up. I actually took some of the items and I like deconstructed it. I wanted to like see, how, like learn more. Now sharing her own creations with other Idahoans. Because it brings them joy. Yeah, I mean, you should see how people's faces light up. If you want a taste of Cabrini's creations out for yourself, you can order one of these tasty Valentine's Day treats on her website linked in this story on IdahoNews6.com. Reporting in Eagle, I'm your Eagle neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.